we're not supposed to talk about any of this stuff with strangers because it's awkward and uncomfortable and that's always what our parents told us. But I do it all the time and I'm here to tell you that you should too because it's really fun and it's kind of fun to just make people uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not here to tell you how to win an argument with someone about all of, all of the issues and awkward conversations, but I'm telling you that you should do this because you're sharing information and ideas with people and you're learning to grow and they're gonna learn to grow with you. Just a warning, people are gonna think you're really, really weird when you talk to them. They're gonna think, this person's hitting on me or this person's, I don't know, going to do something really crazy. Um, so just keep, it, keep aware of that. <laughs> I almost did that coming up here because there are 500 strangers out here. Um, but you're going to feel uncomfortable too. And you need to keep, be aware of that, but know that all that awkwardness is going to be worth it once you finish talking to your first 3,000 strangers. <laughs> when I say hello to someone, that's always the hardest part. And I usually like to start out with a compliment. Telling someone that they look really nice or, you know, you like their jeans, it always seems to ease the tension right off the bat. Also, when you start a conversation with small talk, cast a wide range of interests. It shows people that you're into a lot of different things and it gives them a lot of opportunities to connect with you on, a, on, on that superficial level. Resist the urge, though, to constantly agree with them. Great discourse doesn't necessarily come out of agreement. So stop saying me too every five seconds. It gets really annoying and it makes you sound really insincere. Also, if you realize that your stranger is talking about something that you have no idea about, quantum physics or football or whatever it is that you don't understand, just tell them and they will explain it to you and they'll be more than happy to teach you something. I would say the best way to transition from small talk into deeper issues with strangers is to ask questions that lead to a million other questions. Picture yourself like Enron. Just more questions after more questions. <laughs> My favorite questions to start off with are the why questions. Why questions are questions that make people look into their motivations. Why did you buy that cup of coffee? Why do you drink PBR? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Counterfactuals are good questions too. Those are the what if questions. What if questions are great because they really make people show you what they value and, and kind of their best and worst case scenarios for the world. Also, play psychologist. Don't be afraid to get in and ask those really scary questions. You may not want to talk about your mom, but maybe they do. I don't know. You should ask them. It may be some weird latent issue there they need to talk about. That's okay. Also, make comparisons. Take something that they brought up in small talk, like cars or music, and talk about how it changed over the years and whether you think it's good or bad for society. I mean, is an iPod really better than a vinyl? You should ask questions like that. <laughs> or maybe, don't even ask a question, just state a theory. State a theory and see if they agree with you or if they think you're full of crap. <laughs> it's, sure, it's sure to make conversation. Also, if you happen to say something really stupid that makes it awkward, just laugh it off. A simple, ah, that was awkward, usually calms down the situation enough to keep going with the conversation. But if you find yourself making the conversation awkward because you said something that really offended the person, just be humble and apologize. The worst thing you can do is ruin that person's day because you had an ego about something. Now, if you really bomb the conversation, it's a giant catastrophe, just try to leave with grace. Don't stick around in a conversation that's just not going anywhere. It's not going to work out for you. <laughs> but if your conversation goes well and it's all gumdrops and kittens, um, you should invite them out for a cup of coffee. But remember, don't be a creeper about it. You're not hitting on this person. You're just talking about some ideas. So my mom used to say when I was little that it takes sometimes up to 3,000 times of doing something to feel natural at it. So talk to 3,000 people, 3,000 strangers. My advice is um, we're about at intermission. So when you go outside, don't talk to someone you came here with. Why don't you talk to someone you've never seen before in your life and ask them a why question. 
Give yourself 30 days and talk to one person every day for the next 30 days. I promise you won't regret it. Thank you.